this is one that I'm gonna pick up, AC2. My favorite Assassin's Creed out of the bunch. I am also seeing this Fallout 4 for $2.99. Not bad, no freaking way, guys. I swear I had never found one of these before I started this challenge and What's up everyone? It's Austin here and we're back again with another episode of my $10 game collection. We are looking and searching for video games to buy and flip in order for us to build a huge video game collection. And this is going to be the video game collection of my childhood. So we're at a point in our series where we have a constant flow of cash coming in from selling our products and then also we're able to buy my childhood games now and start building up that collection. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking for items to flip still so we have that constant flow of cash and then also video games to buy and add to this collection. So I have mainly been selling my items on eBay and you can find my eBay page at Austin's $10. I'll kind of display it a picture of it on the bottom but uh yeah you can go there and follow and monitor along the items that i do find and i do flip and sell now these videos do take about a week for me to film and then another week to edit so it won't be real time following with what i have on ebay i actually might have a lot more stuff on ebay and that's what i currently found so it's kind of like a sneak peek into our newer episodes but if you don't want to spoil yourself for the future episodes you don't have to go on my ebay page but uh yeah you can follow and track along there so our game collection is continuously growing each episode and i'm finding you know a small handful of games each episode to add to this collection and that's how we're gonna build this huge collection so without further ado let's go ahead and get into some updates so here is a quick update on our ten dollar game collection we actually did sell some stuff we just sold the Sega Marine Fishing on the Dreamcast. That one sold for around $13. And then we also just sold this Wii Sports Loose. Sold it for around $23. And after fees and shipping, I'll add that total that we'll get back into our game fund. So, great start to the week. We're going to go out now and find more stuff to add to this collection. So I did find some more Xbox 360 games. Looks like they stocked a couple of these and I mean this place is a big mess right now. I don't know what happened here. But uh, this is one that I'm going to pick up, AC2. My favorite Assassin's Creed out of the bunch. I may pick this up as well, Gears of War Judgment. I believe I played this one. Um, this one doesn't have Marcus as the protagonist now it's got um this guy i forgot this guy's name can't believe i forgot it but uh yeah probably pick this up as well then you got rainbow six never played this before and you got one right here too so both of these i probably won't be picking up because i just haven't played these yet i already picked this up um, oh this is actually oh no not sealed it's just lego indiana jones never played this either so we'll probably end up going with these two games. Not bad. Hello. Just gonna pick up these two. And you have a birthday discount, so I do this. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> do you know if it'll work for like the whole day if I use it? Uh, yeah. The day you decide to use it, it'll work for just that day. I'll okay, cool. Away. Alright, sounds um, good. Four, okay. Alright guys, so picked up the two games, Assassin's Creed and Gears of War Judgment. You guys saw that it is my birthday month, and so I wasn't sure what day to use my 25% coupon on. Um, so I just chose today. You get a 25% coupon to use for the whole day on any day that you pick on your birthday month. And so I just chose today. Hopefully I find some more stuff. So it's kind of hard to pick and decide which day because what if I don't find stuff for the rest of the day? So as of right now, we're just looking to buy a lot of cheap games to add to my collection and build that up. I want my collection to start growing more and more each episode. And this is how we're going to do it is just buy these games really cheap, either from Goodwill or other thrift stores. I'll be more creative and figure out other ways of getting more games. No freaking way, guys. I swear I had never found one of these 
before I started this challenge and another one. Look at this. I believe this one is for the Xbox One as well. I just sold one of these for what, around $40, $50? And just found another one. Still gonna have to go home and test it out, make sure it's working, but I'm definitely gonna grab this. So you guys can see right here, just peeled off the sticker a little bit. Traptanium Portal for Xbox One. That is an incredible find. Definitely gonna grab it. It got like this separate rack of DVDs here. And uh, spotted this right here, this Core Day Force. Some kind of a workout beach body DVD set. And uh, looked it up and looks like this is going for around 15, 20 dollars. I know it's marked at what? five or four ninety nine so a little bit high but with the birthday discount I don't know maybe it takes off like a dollar so I think I will pick it up as well so it has been an awesome stop at this Goodwill so far found something else never sold one of these before but it's an wireless LG headphone headset Bluetooth I did turn it on and uh, I'll show you right now so it'll light up just like that and I was able to connect it to my phone and heard sound coming out of it so it seems to be working just fine when it comes to technology like this if I find it at a Goodwill I don't know I'm always sketched out because why would someone donate something like this but um, I don't know seems to be working $2.99 isn't too crazy of a risk but um I did check eBay sales and it's going for around $20 to $30, so not that bad. I think I will go ahead and pick it up though. Hello, just gonna pick up these things. Yeah. Alright, so that was an awesome stop at that Goodwill. Got those three items for around $10. And uh, they probably go or value for around close to $100 for all three of them. So all three of those items I'm planning on just flipping and uh, building up the game fund. Really happy with that stop. Just wanted to give you guys some quick updates. We just sold the shoes finally. It took about two or three weeks for us to sell it. But they sold for around $38 plus $9 shipping. And then after fees and shipping, we will get to add this much back to the game fund. I'll uh, add that onto the screen. And then we also just sold this Black Ops 2. This one I didn't want to keep in my collection because I didn't play it as much. But we had it listed for around $19.50 and it sold for that much. So after eBay fees and shipping, we'll get to add this much back to our total. So that's awesome. We get to add a bit more cash to our game fund. And uh, yeah, let's get back out there. So I'm here at GameStop and just gonna scan through to see if they have any really cheap games that I've played. These will be really quick and easy ones to add to my collection. For example, right here, I see one already, this Battlefield 1. So this is probably my favorite Battlefield game. I played this a ton when it came out, and for whatever reason, it's so cheap now. I don't know why, probably because no one plays it anymore, but this would be a pretty easy one for me to just pick up. I am also seeing this Fallout 4 for $2.99. Not bad, you know, basically just Goodwill prices on this, but um, this is definitely one of my favorites. Didn't like it as much as Fallout 3 or New Vegas, but still a solid game. Looks like they got some more cheaper games over here on this rack as well. Let's see what I can find. I've never really played Doom. Maybe just a little bit. I think I did try it out, but it could be one that I pick up as well. Can't believe this Battlefield 2042 is already down at $2 only at GameStop even. Holy cow. I haven't played much PS4, so I don't know if I can add any to my collection. 
and the prices on these are still pretty high. I'm not gonna find much under ten dollars. So here's Sunset Overdrive. I did play this, but I never beat it. I don't know. Wasn't really into it as much, but for two ninety nine, I'll probably end up picking it up too. We'll go with these. So I'm not finding too many video games at Goodwill, so don't want to waste my birthday coupon. I want to find stuff that, you know, I can at least buy to flip. And spotted this right here, these Adidas Ultra Boost. Every time I see Adidas Ultra Boost, there's always value on these. Uh, couldn't find many sold comps on this, but the condition of this is really good. And it's got priced at $6.99, not bad, plus the 25% for my birthday discount. And uh, yeah, I think I am going to pick it up. Even if I sell it for around $30, that's still good, you know, $15, $20 profit on this. So I think I will be happy with that, and I will pick it up. Hello, just going to get these. All right. Five fifty. Would you like to run up to six? Uh, no, it's okay. Right. Made my way to a pawn shop, one of the very few pawn shops in my city. When I spotted this, holy cow! Dead by daylight. Now, for those of you guys, so for those of you who don't know about Dead by Daylight, it typically sells for only around $15, but this is a special edition one. This is the Nightmare Edition, including the Stranger Things Netflix add-on pack. So the game no longer allows you to download the Stranger Things add-on expansion online. And so the only way to get it now is through a physical copy like this, or maybe a DLC card, a physical one. And so this game actually skyrocketed up to around $100 in value. And they got it listed for $20, so very easy grab here. And also Dead by Daylight is definitely one of my favorite games recently of the past like five years. I just recently found it, but the game came out like close to 10 years now. But I uh, just started playing it around 2020. And uh, yeah, been hooked ever since. Just found another game as well. The Stardew Valley. Big fan of Stardew Valley as well. It's a fun, you know, simulation farming game. Building relationships in this strange town. They got it listed for tw $12. A little iffy if I want to get it. But, um, yeah. I'd say my funds are pretty high and to grab two decent games. This episode would be pretty cool. I think this sells for around $20-ish. So, not the greatest price, but um, I feel like it's a easy grab or a, a decent grab to pick up. Do you guys get a lot of games in or yeah. just recently yeah, stocked or something yeah, like that? We get a lot of games. <laughs> yeah. 3376 is your total. Okay. Like around up 24 cents for boys and girls? Uh, no, it's okay. So this truly was an awesome week. I wish we could find all this great stuff every week, but uh, we added a lot of great things to flip and a lot of great games to add to our collection. The first thing we got was this Traptinium Portal. I found another one, two in the same series. And uh, yeah, this is for the Xbox One and it goes for around 40-ish dollars on eBay. So great pickup. And then I also picked up this LG wireless headset. Uh, what is it? It's a uh, HBS 780 and I got this purposely just to flip as well This thing goes for around I don't know 20 30 dollars and uh, Yeah, I made sure that it does work. Uh, it just takes a universal Charger to charge it and yeah from the looks of things it's still working perfectly fine now I'm gonna get to some of the games and we actually did get one DVD and that was this Core de force this is a uh, beach body DVD. These beach body DVDs do have some value, but
but um, most of them don't have that much, but this one actually does. I, I usually don't see this one, and uh, yeah, scanned it up, and it does have some decent value. And then for all of these games, we're adding all of this to our game collection. So it's about eight games that we get to add to our collection for this week. The first game I got was Assassin's Creed 2. This is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. And uh, yeah, Ezio is just the best assassin in my opinion. And I uh, had a lot of fun playing this game. The next game we got was Gears of War Judgment. Big fan of the Gears of War series as well. Um, didn't, I don't know if I played this one. I think I did, but I don't remember anything from it. I think it's more of just like a spin-off because Marcus Phoenix is not the protagonist. It's actually Damon Bear. And then the next game I got was Doom on the Xbox One. Played this game a little bit. Not too big of a fan of the Doom games, but uh, it's still pretty fun, fast-paced first-person shooter game. And then I got Battlefield 1. This is my favorite Battlefield game. I remember when I was playing this, I would just be on a horse and I would be riding around slashing everybody. I don't know what made this game so much fun. I think the graphics were amazing and just uh, just the style of graphic, uh, bringing it back to you know the old school Battlefield setting. The next game I got was Fallout 4. Not my favorite of the Fallout games, but still a really fun one. I remember when it first came out, the graphics looked amazing and um, yeah, didn't live up to my expectations, but still a fun one to just jump in and uh, be immersed. And then the next game I got was Sunset Overdrive on the Xbox One. I don't know why, but I didn't play this one much. I think I did start it, but I never finished it. But um, I know this one is a big favorite of a lot of Xbox fans, and so I had to grab it. And then these next two games I found at the pawn shop, one of the pawn shops in my area. Definitely need to check out that pawn shop again because I found these amazing games. And the first one was this Dead by Daylight Nightmare Edition. This game values for over $100, and I can only imagine it goes up from there. Kind of explained to you guys why already, because of the Stranger Things DLC add-on, you can't buy it online. I think the only way you can get it is from this physical game now. So, really great add to my collection. And I'm a big fan of this game as well. And then the last game we got was Stardew Valley on the Xbox One. I'm a fan of this game as well. Pretty fun farming simulator. I think I like the Harvest Moon games a little better. But um, yeah, still a great one to add. This one has some decent value as well on the Xbox One. Almost forgot about these Adidas Ultra Boost shoes as well. I picked these up for around five-ish dollars. I want to keep a shoe in the collection as well for sale. Shoes are a great item to flip because you can get a lot of money for these. For those of you that don't know, I am pretty knowledgeable about flipping shoes, uh, or at least I know enough about flipping shoes, and I did this actually before I started flipping video games. And just kind of want to pay homage to Seth Fowler for doing his $20 sneaker collection. Big fan of his as well. So uh, yeah, definitely had to uh, pick up another pair of shoes just to leave in the game collection and uh, put it up for sale. Hopefully it sells pretty quick as well. So that was everything that we picked up this week. Really happy with our finds. This is how we're going to do it, guys. In order to build a game collection, every week we're just going to find, you know, stacks of games like this to add to our collection. It's slowly growing, but it's only the sixth episode, and I'm pretty happy with where we're at. I'm going to get the other items listed on eBay as well, and hopefully those can flip so that we can add that cash back up to our game fund. So yeah, that basically concludes our episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date whenever I upload new episodes to this $10 game collection and also just to support my channel. I'm definitely growing very slowly, but uh, yeah, having a ton of fun and hope to continue doing this for a long time. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode.